I am feeling right at home, yeah. It kind of like, it's, it's, I've got used to this kind of world and obviously I want to do other things, but this is, you know, I, I enjoy this kind of genre. I enjoy um, the swashbuckling stuff. So yeah, it's, I, I do feel at home and I'm always in beautiful locations like this one. So that's, I, you know, that's quite awe-inspiring. They're just the loveliest people and work so hard and know their craft so well that they're inspirational to watch. They're both meticulous actors um, and it's just great to be working with them because you can, you can see all of these years of work that they've collected and, and how, they, how they use the camera and how they treat a scene and um, yeah, no, and they're, they're really great people off set as well as on and have been very helpful to a kind of young nervous actor like myself. So yeah, um, yeah, no, it's been, it's been a, an amazing experience working with both of them. The significance of being a seventh son is that you have some kind of magical powers, as it were, this kind of unknown X factor, as it were, sorry to use that word, um, but this, this thing about you that means you make a good demon hunter, a good apprentice, as I understand it. Um, and obviously being a seventh son of a seventh son is pretty rare, it's quite hard to find that. Um, so they're few and far between, and whilst Gregory has a hard time finding them, but you know... He's got lots of exciting elements to it and great action scenes, brilliant actors involved, everyone from Jaiman to Jeff to Julianne, you know, a lot of these actors I'm huge fans of, so, um, uh, it's, you know, it, it, it's got all the components there. Um, I think people all will love it because it's something very, very different. Hey movie fans, Valerie here. Now I have to tell you about one of the biggest mistakes of all time. When George Lucas was making American Graffiti, he was a completely unknown director. He approached Universal Studios with the idea for Star Wars in 1973 and they turned it down. Big mistake. Just six months later, America Graffiti was a massive hit, grossing $117 million, making Lucas a star. He was then approached by an executive at 20th Century Fox, who was determined to work with Lucas and to finance Star Wars. It is now in the top 24 highest grossing films in history, and that, as they say, is history. That's it for today. Check out our new Film is Now app, available for iOS and Android. Bye-bye.